hi guys welcome to my channel in today's video I'm doing another beauty hack this is using powder on top of a foundation I did use this myself a few years back and I just want to show you on camera how it can do with my combo skin if you want to see how this method work from this to this then please keep on watching and enjoy Hi guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is hydrate my face since I have dry patches right now. So I wanna like hydrate everything. This way if this technique would help then let's find it out. Use MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus to hydrate my face. Then let it just air dry for a little bit. Wait until it dries. Now I'm gonna go ahead do my brows and I'll be right back. Now to prime my face, I'm using Pores No More from Dr. Brands and for my pores, I'm using the Benefit The Professional. Now the powder that I'm gonna be using is this RCMA Translucent Powder. It's really really refined powder. I like this better than the uh, Cody Airspun and I'm using a powder puff. I really wonder how this would work since I have like dry patches here so I'm a little bit scared at the moment I did use this before where I have um, like normal skin um, it's well I have no dry patches but just oily um, in my t-zone area so right now I don't know how this is gonna work And I'll just gonna even it out. So as you can see here, this is dry patches here. So here, I don't really know how this is gonna work. Then let's find out. Now the foundation that I'm gonna be using is the White and Wild Photo Focus Foundation, color Golden Beige. It's a little bit lighter for me at this time since I get a little bit tan. And then I'm going to mix it up with the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream in the shade Medium Deep. I'm going to mix it together. So now this is what the foundation looks like which is, I think matches me right now. And then I'm going to use a damp beauty sponge from Real Techniques. Now I have this flat foundation brush to dispense the product. And I'm going to do like a stripe stroke first before blending in here it goes good luck I'm scared yeah this color set as well okay then come on like that it looks nice though but I don't know if it dries up if my dry patches would cling to it, but for now, at the moment, it's doing good. So, this is what it looks like for just one layer. It does really give me like a clean slate. It is slightly caking in this area right now. It also adheres to the dry patches that I have, but for the blendability of this one, I think it looks nice. And it does really cover my redness. I'm gonna do the side of the face and dust it off since I did not. I know I have really a bad like dry patches right now. <laughs> this is not really a good timing to do this powder thing when you have dry skin. But I'm just curious as to what it does. Okay, and then let's see. So, what do you think guys? Does this thing really work? It does work. Only if you have like a very good skin. This is really perfect for you guys. For normal to oily skin, this would be perfect. It would really give you like a matte finish. I do like it, but only if I don't have dry patches. I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna find out if the blendability of this method 
would not create a blotchiness on my face and I'll be right back and for my final thoughts about using the powder on top of the liquid foundation if it does work it does work for blendability it is it blends easily longevity this gonna hold your foundation last I think I use it like maybe five years ago and I did try that before making a video and it does really work for me for dry skin or dry patches it doesn't really work that way it will give you more emphasis on your textured skin so I would not gonna suggest using this if you have dry patches and other than that it can make you really a good finish it is matte the longevity of this would really last you for a long time so these are my final thoughts i hope you find this video helpful and if you're not subscribed to my channel just hit the subscribe button down below and also don't forget the bell button so you will be notified on my next coming videos and that's it for my video i hope you enjoy and i will see you in my next one bye